Welcome to another Bandology interview. Bandology is a Canadian nonprofit dedicated to more music for more kids via education, collaboration, and community. So, hi, my name is Jessica, and today I am here with Cheryl, who was my choir teacher in the past. So, Cheryl, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Cheryl, as Jess said, and uh, I started uh, my love of music when I was really young and I found that uh, music in school for me was a huge piece of peace of mind for me getting a break from some of the academics and when my kids were in school I realized there weren't very many, many music programs going on either in school or in the community and so I sort of stepped up and I started running choirs both in the elementary system as well as in the community choirs. That's really interesting because Bandology actually was our founders. Um, they started it kind of on the same principle that they wanted to see more relating to music for their kids who were involved with that in school too. It's an um, important piece, I think, for a lot of children and even adults to have music in your life, I think is very therapeutic. Yes, I agree. So what originally drew you to pursue music? Oh, uh, I guess I can thank my parents because I guess they noted a natural ability and they put me into first piano lessons and then some singing lessons. And like I said, even through all the way through high school, it certainly was my saving grace joining the bands and the choirs and things. It was sort of where I lived was in the music room at school. And uh, then I got away from it for a little while. And then, like I said, when, when my kids decided that uh, they were interested in music too, I did the same thing. They started with piano lessons. And then when I realized that uh, the music programs in the schools there was, they were stretched and they didn't really have a lot going on. That's when I realized this is a void that I could fill. And it was a small program at the time. So I thought, oh, I can, I can handle that. So I thought I would step up and try. Yeah, that's great to hear. Um, so who would you say would be your major influences or mentors in music? Oh, that's an easy one. My my high school choir teacher, um, Jim Brehill is his name, and I still am in touch with him. He he had a passion for singing and choir, choral music, and actually some of the music that I passed on to the choirs that I was working in came from music that he had picked. And uh, he always made the music room a safe place. Anyone was welcome. It didn't matter about your talent. It was really much more about everybody becoming part of a community and doing something that we all love together. That was, uh, uh, like I said, I lived in that music room with him. Yeah, I think everybody um, can say like in high school, the music room was always a safe place. and. You could always make friends there. Everyone felt welcome. It was a really nice community. I agree. Yeah, a sense of belonging. And I think there's uh, that moment when it all comes together and you can hear the music coming together with all the different parts. It's one of my favorite things ever to, to listen to when it, when it all connects is, is fantastic for me. Yes, I agree. Um, so what would you say would be a career highlight of yours in relation to music? Oh my goodness. Uh, there's so many uh, in terms of highlights. Gosh, you know, I think if I think back over the years of, of doing this, I would say that uh, it's more of a, a conjoined memory of many, many um, students who were very shy and very quiet. And then that moment when they stand up at the concert and they sing their first solo and they're really nervous, but they do it. And then that feeling that you can see by their reaction of the fact that they feel successful and proud and they've achieved something. And I always said to everybody, if you can stand up and sing in front of a big audience, you can do anything. Yeah, I can relate to that because I was definitely one of those kids. And after I remember after the first time I sang a solo, you really do feel very accomplished. It's a, a sense of, um, you know, you, you practice and you practice, but until you're standing in front of the live audience, I think you don't really appreciate how successful and how it, um, that sense of accomplishment 
can actually feel. And, you know, by the time if you did this, when you did, like when you were really young, then by the time you got to sort of the public speaking or presentations and things, hey, if I can sing it, I can certainly speak it. And it makes it a lot easier to get through some of those other interactions that we have to do through our life. Yeah, it certainly helps build confidence too, I would say. Absolutely. Um, so why do you feel that music education is important? Oh, I can't stress this enough. I think that uh, especially with the, so when I went to school, we had grade 13 and then chopping it down to, to the grade 12. I think that the pressure on students now to decide what they want to do, to get those academic curriculum courses fit in their schedule. Um, kids are overprogrammed with all of the things they're doing both in school and outside of school on the weekends. And I just feel like music is one of those places where it, we de-stress that, I don't know, it's, it, there's no pressure really. I mean, maybe for the exam part, but overall it's a pretty safe place to be, to just let your hair down, to be with like-minded people. I do believe that it, it helps our soul. Like whether you're playing an instrument or whether you're singing I think creating something that you're proud of, something that feels nice, uh, something that you're enjoying listening to. There's just something about our mental health that we, we change when we're listening to music, but specifically when we're performing music. Yeah, and with, through Bandology, I've actually um, seen a lot of studies done showing how well like kids can do in school who are involved in band and everything. And I think that like you were saying, it really does help with your mental health and it, it helps you improve in so many other areas of your life beyond just the music room. I agree. I also think that when you're involved in something like music, uh, whether it be band or vocal music, uh, I believe that that connection to that community, connection to the way that you feel would help you get through your day. So I believe that kids who are involved in the extracurricular things like music tend to show up for class more often and won't be uh, tending to skip off or to to be away because they don't want to miss out on the practice or hanging out with their friends and you see different music kids in different classrooms that maybe if you were only studying math or something like that you wouldn't see that broad spectrum of having your friends in multiple different um, the other things that you're interested in. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, so for our next question, do you have any advice for kids who are looking at pursuing music? Talking about as a career? Yes. Yeah, uh, definitely the things that your parents are telling you that no one wants to listen to with <laughs> keeping your skills up. Uh, if you're a pianist, you need to practice. If you're a vocalist, you need to protect your voice. If you're an instrumentalist, you need to practice and keep your finger skills up or your embouchure or whatever it is. Um, that's the really boring, awful answer. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's true, I believe, that the it's the fundamentals that need to be in place in order for you to keep going and, and keep up with the people who truly are serious about studying music. Studying music as a career is difficult because it's a very subjective environment, I think, especially as a vocalist where instrumental is more, you know, there's a correct way to hold it and there's a correct sound to the note. But when you're a singer, I think it makes it a little harder because it really is, does that person like your voice or not? And that doesn't mean that you're talented or not talented. It's just a personal opinion and you get judged quite a bit when you're trying to become um, into the, when you're breaking into the field. But once you get in, I think that that goes away quite a bit. But if for somebody who wanted to be studying music, I would say um, pursue it. Pursue it until you it's not making you happy anymore. But if it's making you happy, I think the people who stick with it find their way and they end up being very, very happy and successful in their careers. Yeah, I really like that. And I think that people can be successful in music they can also be successful as a doctor as a lawyer and it can it can really help to facilitate that too absolutely so we'll do some fast five questions um so just okay. whatever comes to mind first all right okay so what's Let's your go. favorite movie soundtrack oh no <laughs> what 
gosh, there's so many. Uh, well, am I allowed to answer? I have to say one thing. Mm. You can say more than one. <laughs> okay, well, right now I'm like watching Schmigadoon and I think it's fantastic. So anybody who hasn't caught that stuff is, it's, I love that. Um, I'm a huge fan of Broadway musicals. So yeah. what do I listen to all the way through? I think it's an obscure one, but I absolutely love the music from Daddy Long Legs. Okay. Um, what's an instrument you wish you played? Oh, the flute. I always yeah. think that the people who play the flute look just so beautiful. <laughs> what's your hidden talent <gasps> hidden talent that's a good question uh maybe making bread oh that's cool <laughs> what's your favorite song right now oh oh I do not like this question I can never pick just one um <gasps> I can't do it Jessica <laughs> I don't have just one. Okay, well, how about we'll go with a, a classic, um, Pachelbel's Canon. Okay. And who is your music inspiration that you listened to growing up? Oh, that's an interesting one. So I grew up in a family that only listened to classical music. Okay. And so I actually didn't hear or know that there was modern music until about grade six. I know that oh, sounds wow. really weird. But so that was the eye-opening moment for me. And so I'm going to say like anything from like the, um, the doo-wop 60s okay. to me, the harmonies and things of that was such an eye-opening experience when I heard that kind of music. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Loves your answers. Thank you for your time. And I'm going to um, stop the recording now. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you heard, you can learn more about our organization at bandology.ca, which features information about music education, advocacy and research, and our play a gig and band camp programs. Follow us on social media for more videos, performance and interviews on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.